Hi, I'm Charlie. And I'm Liz. And we are the Venture Closet. Today, we are backpacking around Baker Lake in Washington State. That's, that's that lake behind us. Yeah, we're doing a through hike, 14 yeah. and a half miles. It's pretty epic. You're gonna wanna watch this. Yeah, so come on, let's check it out. Yep, come on. are just entering Concrete, Washington. Yeah, that's the name of the town, if you've never heard of it. They, um, the reason it's called Concrete, Washington, as you'll see behind me here, is there is a concrete factory, or there was, actually quite a few operations. They mined a lot of rock out of this area, um, and that was their thing. That was their industry up here, was primarily concrete. Um, and I'm sure some logging. But uh, we're uh, gonna meet up with my cousin Tom at the little grocery store up here. It's called the Red Apple. And we're gonna head up to the trail. See you there. So we're through hiking this trail. It's 14 and a half miles. We're gonna uh, stop at a campground somewhere in the middle for staying overnight. And uh, we're parking Tom's car at the north end. And then we're gonna uh, drive back down to the south end of the lake and uh, go from there. This is a beautiful trail. I must say, fairly easy so far. Beautiful weather. Nice overcast day. Don't have the sun beating down on us. Temperature is just nice. 
I think this is gonna be fun. Check this out up here. This is gorgeous and mossy. Beautiful up here. Oh. I'm so glad I was born in Washington. I mean, I don't know much about other states, like hiking in other states and other countries for that matter. But just the beauty we have here in Washington State is just amazing. Um, it's like, like no place else, I would assume. I do a lot of assumptions because I haven't traveled a whole lot. I've been, been to Canada a couple times. Um, just British Columbia, just, you know, just across the border, um, north of here. And it's, it's beautiful there too, but I haven't really had a chance to explore the wilderness out there. Um, we do watch other YouTubers that hike from Canada, or like Marty up north and stuff, and some of the places he goes to are just amazing as well. So I can't wait until the borders are back open again so we can do some more exploring up there. And I would love to, you know, go hiking in other states and see what other trails in other states are like. Um, if you guys know some YouTubers that are hikers, especially small YouTubers, I like small YouTubers. Let us know in the comments who they are. If you're one, if you're, you know, a hiking vlogger, and uh, even if you're in Washington State, drop a link below and, you know, spread the love. Let's, uh, let's share this beautiful scenery with everyone, you know? We're hiking along a ridge up above the lake, above Baker Lake. You can kind of see it through the trees. It's really a pretty trail, one to be savored. Uh, we have a lot of miles ahead of us, so we can't dilly-dally too much. We're trying to beat the rain so that we can set up camp before it starts. But I'm enjoying the hike so far. Really pretty. Springtime with the birds. It's been a long winter. This beautiful stream. This is gorgeous. So I believe this is Anderson Point right out there. I think that's where we're gonna hike to next. It's a little side trail. Oh man, the reflections of the trees in the water. Hopefully I can catch that. That was a cool stream.
So we're taking a little spur trail off the main trail to Anderson Point. And uh, hopefully there's a nice view here. I'm sure there is. Otherwise there probably wouldn't be a spur trail. There's a couple campsites out here as well. So we'll check them out. Little peekaboo views of the lake out here. Oh man, this is nice looking view here. Let's check it out. Oh wow. These, uh, these campsites are really cool at, at this Anderson point. Uh, we're not camping here tonight. We're gonna go a little further, check it out, and uh, see what we can find. We are in bear territory. Um, so they've actually provided uh, bear boxes. This is where you would put your food at night. And you have to kind of reach up in here and then you just put your food in here and uh, um, it makes it so bears can't get it. So it's pretty cool. I don't know if I'd want to be at the campsite <laughs> right next to the bear box because it'd have all the food smells from the whole campground in it. Uh, we're gonna want to see if uh, we can see a view of Baker out here. Uh, Mount Baker is a a volcano. Actually, uh, uh, looks like it is in clouds. It's right over there. Some Canadian geese there. Uh, fun fact, we call them Canadian geese. Uh, Canadians call them Canada geese. Uh, I always thought that was kind of cool that they're called two different things in two different countries. Um, but it makes sense. Why would they call them Canadian geese when they're already in Canada? And they are Canadian. But anyway, Mount Baker, active volcano right there, laying dormant for thousands and thousands of years. Uh, largest recorded snowfall ever, I believe in the world, was recorded on Mount Baker. And it uh, was this much snow. I'll put it right here because I don't remember offhand. But I just thought that was really cool that in Washington we've had the most recorded snowfall either in the country or the world. I believe it's the world, to be honest, uh, which is kind of strange because there's places like Siberia and stuff with uh, that have snowfall like year round and stuff. But uh, yeah, sun's peeking through a little bit here. Still a beautiful day at this beautiful lake. Check out that reflection on the water. Uh, during the bright sun the water is a very sky blue color it's it's very beautiful uh, you can fish here you can boat here um, yeah. pretty cool so this is Anderson Point a couple campsites you got that campsite there um, I believe there's another one up that way I don't think we're gonna explore the whole campground because we're, we're making trail here. But gosh, such a beautiful place. Heading back to the main trail. There's really nothing better than this. Just getting out in the beauty of nature, getting the blood pumping. It makes me happy. It's what I love doing. 
Growing up, I didn't really know that I liked hiking. I used to just think it's long slog to the next point. Or let's just get to the destination. Go, go, go. And uh, it's really not. It's about the journey. It's about the adventure of getting there. And yeah, I'm breathing hard. I'm slower than Liz and Tom, but I take my time and enjoy this. It's nice, you know, hearing the birds and all the sights and sounds, fresh air, smell of the trees, smell the, the moss. It's awesome. I'm glad we could share this with you. Not everybody gets a chance to get out. We all have busy lives. Weekends are full of plans with friends and housework, yard work, all that fun stuff. <laughs> you know, not everybody can spend their whole weekend just getting out and sleeping in the cold and hiking. Some people just can't even get out, you know, whether it's for health reasons or, you know, you got kids. It's hard getting out when you have kids. It's so peaceful out here. I'm just glad that, that you're coming along with us on these journeys from the comfort of your living room or bed or that commute to work, wherever you watch us. There's so much out here. Like in my lifetime, I couldn't, I couldn't explore it all, but we can show you parts that you might not be able to get to, or, you know, you don't have time to go through. Either way, glad to have you. Thank you. Um, if you like this kind of thing, please subscribe. A lot of people that watch this aren't subscribed and we do videos every week. We'd love to have you along for all of them. Check out these shelf mushrooms. They're huge. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> That's cool. There are some stream crossings here. Nothing to be worried about. Just gives you a chance to look at the rocks. a pretty trail. Do I say that about all the trails? <laughs> I probably do. I love them all. But this one is just so pleasant and quiet. You know, this is a fairly easy trail, but I'm a, I'm a big guy. It's like a winded easy. I am a six foot one and I weigh 350 pounds, believe it or not. Uh, it's hard to find gear. My size, it's good. Squirrel, um, especially hiking clothes. Oh my lord, it's like, like finding a diamond in the rough when you find some hiking clothes that fit as a big guy. Some of you may know, know this already, um, and some may not, so I want to explain it. This is a through hike, meaning we're going to start at point A, end at point B, where our other car is and you don't backtrack on the, on the trail. Sometimes there's loop trails where you'll start at point A and at point B, but you're looping back to 
to point A. So I guess it's starting at point A and coming back to point A. And then there's out and back trails where we're on trip. You're going out, coming back the way you came. Cool part about through hikes and loops is you have different scenery the whole way. And uh, it's kind of nice. You can get more miles in, have just new, new stuff to see, which is kind of fun. These are pretty leaves. Anybody know what kind of plant this is? It's like a, it's got a purple hue to it and it's a sticker bush. I mean, it looks like your average blackberry bush, but these leaves are quite different than blackberry bush leaves. If you know, leave a comment below. See, this is what I'm used to blackberry bushes looking like. It's these rounded leaves. And then you got these pointed ones here too. Huh. All sorts of, all sorts of flora here. Ah. Very cool. Saw, just saw a big dog print, footprint on the ground in the mud. Thought it might've been something else. <laughs> I think it's still too early in the season for bears, but we always play it safe anyway. Uh, carry bear spray. I would, I honestly believe bear spray is more effective than a gun because you got to hit the right spot with a gun. You just kind of have to blast the general area for bear spray, which is nice. This is a pretty bridge. Check this out. Actually, I'm going to take a picture here. Whew. That was very beautiful. If you guys don't know, I'm a photographer. Uh, Charlie Duncan Photography, you can look me up on Facebook. Uh, I have over like 3,000 images on my Facebook page you can look at. Um, been taking photos every day for over 10 years now. Uh, January 1st, 2021, I hit 10 years. Um, haven't missed a day and uh, if you'd like to buy prints and support me and my artwork and us, the Adventure Closet, uh, check out my website, charliedunkerphotography.com. Um, got lots of prints there for sale. And if you find something on Facebook that isn't on my website, shoot me a message. I'll put it up on my website for you. Uh, would appreciate it and uh, look beautiful hanging in your home like that picture I just took right there that'd be awesome I might even have to get myself a print of that <laughs> it's very early spring stuff's just starting to grow it takes a little bit longer uh, up in the mountains to uh, bloom but all all the cherry blossoms and stuff are blooming down below pinks and whites and the daffodils are coming up. It's a perfect time of year. All right, this is where we're gonna stay the night. This is the Maple Grove campground along the Baker Lake Trail. I can see why it's called Maple Grove. We are, in fact, in a Maple Grove. The leaves haven't come in yet because it's still early spring. But I bet it's really beautiful. Probably really beautiful in the fall, actually. So we are going down into the Maple Grove campground. And uh, we believe we're gonna camp here. Wow. This is gorgeous. In case you're all wondering. Uh, knock, knock. That's the bathroom. Some nice campsites here. And a bear box right there.
my bag of tackle, a rod, and go down and see if we can catch some trout or some kokanee. Good little inlet screen, stream. I'm gonna set up here, cast out. Listen, you guys, the water sounds like a rain stick. Might not be catching any fish today. It's raining. for lunch let's see what kind of rocks we can find here the nice thing about filming these videos is all the the feedback we get from you guys telling us you know what you like what you don't like what's cool and then as I'm uh, putting the videos together uh, I can see oh we should have done this we should have done that so just as progression goes on our videos are just gonna keep getting better and better uh, I'm glad you guys are here from the start because you guys are true fans and uh, we appreciate that. We love talking to you guys, love hearing from you. We love watching your videos too. If you got YouTube channels like uh, Up North Adventures with CCC, we love watching your videos all the time, talking to you. You're always there, first one to comment usually. Uh, we appreciate that. Uh, you guys should all check out our channel as well. If you guys like rock hunting, uh, she, she finds some pretty cool stuff up in Michigan. She does a great job and she produces so many videos all the time, it's great. She finds some really cool stuff. She also does some metal detecting and things like that. But you should definitely check out her channel. We'll leave a link to that below. And we love her videos and you guys might like them too if you like rocks and cool stuff that she finds. Hi CCC. <laughs> also, if you, know, if you know a good YouTube channel that uh, we should check out, leave a comment. We don't watch like normal TV, too many commercials. Uh, that's why we watch YouTube. We love the fact that it's, it's real people doing real things. We're always looking for new stuff to watch. If you got a suggestion, let us know. And uh, if we find something cool that we like to watch, we'll let you guys know too. Cause it's a community. It's not just a place for videos. What is that guy? It's got a pocket, oops, it's got a pocket in it too. That is strange. Hmm. Look at this guy right here. 
<laughs> it's like green with like magnetite or biotite or something in it. Mica? I don't think it's mica because it's kind of a, a massive instead of a flaky. Interesting. So Charlie's getting ready to filter some water with our MSR sweet water. They don't make this filter anymore. It's been raining, um, but still a great time. Still got great views. It's uh, something about the mist and the fog and the rain just kind of adds to it. Yeah, it does. just caught a moment. <laughs> yeah. He is kind of pretty though, isn't he? Just a little. Yeah. Who's prettiest? He is. <laughs> I mean, look at the beard. It's the beard. Oh, you get your dirty gloves and my beard. They're clean. You've been picking up firewood. <laughs> I've been doing mountain girl stuff. It's true. You yeah. <laughs> have. But yeah, we're gonna sit by the fire the rest of the night and uh, then jump in the tent and Be we'll, warm. we'll catch you in the morning. Night guys. Night. I did not sleep well last night. Um, it was raining hard and loud. <laughs> Got a beautiful view. Got a mango sticky rice breakfast. Just hitting the trail. We got about 10 miles ahead of us, nine to 10 miles today. And there's supposed to be a lot of blowdowns ahead. There's one coming up. Lots of sometimes having to take off the pack to safely get over something and just getting stuff caught. I've got my fishing rod. See, <laughs> fishing rod caught. Thank you. So it's gonna be slow, 10 miles. This place so beautiful. It's like walking into a picture. <laughs> I mean, look at this. This is gorgeous. Beautiful lake. Peak move lake view here. And we got blow downs. Uh, but 
Let's slow down and enjoy this beautiful view here. Ah. <laughs> Gotta get lower. Our gear <laughs> goes through some hard stuff. <laughs> that was close. You did it halfway through. Probably. Uh, I'd leave it. Just step up over that. There we go. Just, you know, so people popping up don't hit their heads like I almost did. Okay. That was nice of you. We did warn us on trail reports about the blowdowns and such. There's a lot of them right now. We're working our way over a slide. Ow. Oh, that box right here. Oh. <laughs> At least there's good handholds there. Everything's pretty secure. Okay, next obstacle. Just taking a breather at this, uh, this scree field. Beautiful. Look at this. Big old cliff rock wall and this giant tree. Sun peeking through. And then looking this other way. Gorgeous view of the lake. Beautiful. And the trail keeps on going. Hey, there's been a few blowdowns. Um, that were a little tough to get over, but nothing we couldn't handle. Um, I mean, you saw a couple of them. So it's all part of the adventure. So we just went through a couple blowdowns and then came up a hill, came across this giant mess of just blowdown after blowdown as far as we can see. And uh, I think the trail's right down there. I don't know. We're gonna try and make it through. <laughs> Wish us luck. Oh man. I just had to crawl through all this. I hope I'm not losing gear. I feel like I am losing gear and all this mess. We've gone through about a quarter mile of blowdowns. Really bad, crawling under and over logs. We're off on the gear. But I think we're almost past it. My fishing pole got flung down the side of a hill. So glad I didn't bring a nice one. Is it holding up? Good. Yeah. 
see the tree growing right in the middle of this log. Probably about 15, 20 feet in the air. That's pretty cool. Uh, that uh, quarter mile of blowdowns really took a lot out of me. And then shortly after that, almost dying as this big rock <laughs> slid from underneath me. <laughs> but it's all part of the adventure. It's all part of the fun. Um, yeah, it's how memories are made. Right now we're trying to book it because we got a lot of ground to make. Uh, doing 10 miles today. Check this tree out. Giant two top tree. Big old cedar. Lives for scale. That's awesome. Nice, beautiful view. We're hiking all the way. There's a gap in the trees right here. And uh, I believe that's the river. It's a night without armor in a savage land. There's so many spots along the trail where you can get down to the beach. Looks like there's a campsite down there. Um, just check out the landscape. It's just beautiful in all directions, no matter what side of this lake you're on. Putting lots of miles today and it's just still very awe-inspiring. I have army crawled my way under so many logs today <laughs> and climbed up over them, jumped off of them. <sighs> I'd say it's a good day. The weather's turning pretty quickly on us. Rain clouds are coming in, wind's picking up. So we gotta try and get out of here as fast as we can. But we're on the last stretch, couple, three miles left. Coming up on Noisy Creek. This is pretty noisy. <laughs> it's an old bridge. Oh wow, look how pretty that is. Almost done. Yeah. Oh, this is a cute boardwalk. 
Oh. Oh. Oh, no balloons on it. Nice. Problem this time of year is these boardwalks get so slick. song about boardwalks. Out on the boardwalk, boardwalk, we'll be having some fun. I don't know, something like that. Yeah, that's pretty. Full of songs. Show them this? Yeah. Yeah. A glance, oh, okay, fine. I saw this. Show them one. this. They gotta see this. Pretty. It's pretty. Super pretty. That was fun. Well, that was super fun. Uh, we uh, hiked around this lake, went camping, and saw some cool rocks. Mm -hmm. And we went fishing. Yeah, had a campfire. And... And we got we wet. We got wet, yeah. Yeah. And it was beautiful and relaxing and good company. It was. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming along with us. Don't forget to subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, uh, TikTok. Our website or just Ooh. say something down below yeah 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 mm -hmm. talk to us yes. all right see you next wednesday bye bye